Hey friends! Today I want to read a story to you about a little girl named Frances. Frances is a big sister and sometimes when we have babies in the family it becomes kind of hard if we have been the only child for some time. So Frances gets a little sad and decides she wants to run away. But something changes her mind. So today I want to read A Baby Sister for Frances. And it was written by Russell Hoban and illustrated by Lillian Hoban. If I can turn the page. <laughs> It was a quiet evening. Father was reading his newspaper. I'm going to turn this so you can see. Mother was feeding Gloria, the new baby. Frances was sitting under the kitchen sink. She was singing a little song. Plinkety, 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 plink. Here is the, di the dish rag that's under the sink. Here are the buckets and brushes and me. Plinkety, 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 plea. She stopped the song and listened. Nobody said anything. Frances went to her room and took some gravel out of her drawer where she had been saving it. Gravel is rocks. She put the gravel into her empty coffee can and put the lid back on the can. Frances marched into the living room and rattled the gravel in the can. As she marched, she sang a marching song. Here we go marching, rattly bang. Please don't do that, Frances, said Father. Frances stopped. All right, she said. She went back to the kitchen and sat down under the sink. Her mother came in, carrying Gloria. Why are you sitting under the sink, said Mother. I like it here, said Frances. It's cozy. Would you like to help me put Gloria to bed, said Mother. So she's trying to get a little sad. How much allowance does Gloria get, asked Frances. She's too little to have an allowance, said Father. Allowance is money that you get for doing chores. Only big girls like you get allowances. Isn't it nice to be a big sister? May I have a penny along with my nickel now that I'm a big sister? Said Francis. Yes, said Father. Now your allowance will be six cents a week because you are a big sister. Thank you, said Francis. I know a girl who gets 17 cents a week. She gets three nickels and two pennies. Well, said Father, it's time for bed now. Father picked Frances up from under the sink and gave her a piggyback ride to bed. Mother and Father tucked her in and kissed her goodnight. I need my special blanket, said Frances. Mother gave her a tiny special blanket. And I need my tricycle and my sled and both my teddy bears and my alligator doll, said Frances. Father brought in the tricycle and the sled and both teddy bears and the alligator doll. Mother and father kissed her goodnight again and Frances went to sleep. So even though there's a baby in the family, they still very much love Frances. In the morning, Frances got up and washed and began to dress for school. Is my blue dress ready for me to wear, said Frances. Oh dear, said Mother, I was so busy with Gloria that I did not have time to iron it, so you'll have to wear the yellow one. Mother buttoned Frances back up, Mother buttoned Frances up the back. Then she brushed her hair and put a new ribbon in it and put her breakfast on the table. Why did you put sliced bananas in the oatmeal, said Frances. Did you forget that I like raisins? No, I did not forget, said Mother, but you finished up the raisins yesterday, and I have not been out shopping yet. I wonder how Frances feels about that. Well, said Frances, things are not very good around here anymore. No clothes to wear, no raisins for the oatmeal. I think maybe I'll run away. Finish your breakfast, said Mother. It's almost time for the school bus. What time will dinner be tonight, said Frances. Half past six, said Mother. Then I will have plenty of time to run away after dinner, said Frances. And she kissed her mother goodbye and went to school. Do you think it's smart for her to run away from home? I think that might be a little scary. After dinner that evening, Frances packed her little knapsack, which is a backpack, very carefully. She put her tiny special blanket in her alligator doll. She took all the nickels and pennies out of her bank for travel money. And she took her good luck coin for good luck. Then she took a box of prunes from the kitchen and five chocolate sandwich cookies. 
Well, said Francis, it's time to say goodbye. I'm on my way. Goodbye. Where are you running away to, said Father? I think I'll go to the dining room. I think that under the dining room table is the best place, said Francis. It's cozy. And the kitchen is near if I run out of cookies. That's a good place to run away to, said Mother. But I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, said Father. Well, said Francis, goodbye. And she ran away. She didn't run out of her house, but she did find a place to hide in her house. Father sat down with his newspaper. Mother took up the sweater she was knitting. Father put down the newspaper. You know, he said. Turn this so you can see. It's not the same house without Francis. That's just exactly what I was thinking, said Mother. The place seems so lonesome and empty without her. Even Gloria, said Mother, as small as she is, can feel the difference. I can hear her crying a little right now, said Father. Well, said Mother, a girl looks up to an older sister. You know that. So Francis is hiding under the table. And Mom and Dad are just talking. Father picked up his newspaper, then he put it down again. I miss the songs that Francis used to sing, he said. I was so fond of those little songs, said Mother. Do you remember the one about the tomato? What does the tomato say early in the dawn, sang Mother? Time to be all right again, now that night is gone, sang Father. Yes, he said, that is a good one. But my favorite has always been, when the wasp and the bumblebees have a party, nobody comes that can't buzz. Well, said Mother, we shall have to get used to a quiet house now. So they're talking about all the things they would miss about Francis if she would have run away. Francis ate three of the sandwich cookies and put the other two aside for later. She began to sing, I am poor and hungry here, eating prunes and rice. Living all alone is not really very nice. She had no rice, but chocolate sandwich cookies did not sound right for the song. I can almost hear her now, said Father, humming the tune that Francis had just sung. She has a charming voice. It is not just a family without Francis, said Mother. Babies are very nice. Goodness knows I like babies. But a baby is not family. Isn't that a fact, said Father. A family is everybody all together. If we ran away from home, our families would surely miss us. Remember, said Mother, how I used to say, think how lucky the new baby will be to have a sister like Frances. I remember that very well, said Father, and I hope that Gloria turns out to be as clever and good as Frances. With a big sister like Frances to help her along, she ought to turn out just fine, said Mother. I'd like to hear from Frances, said Father, just to know she's getting along in her new place. I'd like to hear from Frances, too, said Mother, and I'm not sure the sleeves are right on this sweater I'm knitting for her. So they want to hear from Francis. I wonder if Francis is going to say anything to them. Hello, called Francis from the dining room. I'm calling on the telephone. Hello, hello, this is me. Is that you? Hello, said Mother. This is us. How are you? I'm fine, said Francis. This is a nice place, but you miss your family when you're away. How are you? We are all well, said Father, but we miss you too. I'll be home soon, said Francis. And she hung up. So her family is letting her know that they love her very much and that they miss her. She said she'll be home soon, said Father. That's good news indeed, said Mother. I think I'll bake a cake. Frances put on her knapsack and sang a little traveling song. Big sisters really have to stay at home and not travel far away because everybody misses them and wants, and wants to hugs and kisses them. I'm not sure about that last rhyme, said Frances, as she arrived in the living room and took off her knapsack. That's a good enough rhyme, said Father. I like it fine, said Mother, and they both hugged and kissed her. So she came back home after running away to the kitchen. What kind of cake are you baking, said Frances to Mother. Chocolate, said Mother. It's too bad that Gloria is too little to have some, said Frances. But once she's a big girl like me, she can have chocolate cake, too. Oh, yes, said Mother. You may be sure that there will always be plenty of chocolate cake around here. The end. So for those of you who are big brothers and sisters, think about how you felt when the new baby came to the house. Were you sad? Did you feel lonely? 
Well, I can guarantee that one thing that did not change is that your mommy and daddy still love you just the same. Talk to you later.